Hello, namaste, welcome everyone. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. It's a beautiful day and uh, you know, what is better than yoga? So today it's all about love. You know, yoga is about uniting and it's all about being in your um, center and being grounded. And that is our heart center. So we are going to do heart yoga today. In Hindi, it is called Hidaya Yoga. So heart yoga, let's begin. So sit comfortably in your chairs, keep your shoulders rounded back and your chin parallel to the ground and keep your spine upright and straight. Very good. And make sure your feet are firmly placed on the floor. And let's begin with a deep breath. And with your deep breath, you raise both your arms up. So breathe in and lift your arms up. Bring them above your head. You hold it here. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly bring both your hands down towards your heart. And as you bring your hands down, try to bring your elbows together. Hold it here. And then slowly separate your elbows, bringing your heart, hands to your heart center. Very nice. Very good. We'll do it one more time. Take a deep breath in. Lift both your hands up, stretch them. Feel the stretch of your spine as you're lifting your arms. Your upper arms are right next to your ears. You feel leaner and taller. And now slowly bring your hands together and bring your hands down slowly to your heart center and relax. Shake it, catch your breath. So we talk about opening the heart center. So heart center postures, what does that mean? It will, it will help to expand our chest and our rib cage. And when we talk about heart, it is not just the physical heart we're talking about. We're also talking about the core of our being, which is all about love. All right. So now we're going to start with sun salutation today. That's a warm up. And it's a very good heart opening posture that is sun salutation surya namaskar so let's begin breathe in both your hands up feel that stretch of your spine this is called hast uthan asan breathe out and we will bend forward if you have severe back problems do not do forward bend so you're going to bring your hands down to the ground next to your feet or touch your feet. Now, if your hands don't reach the ground, that's okay. If your hands are here, stay there. Always listen to your body. Or if your hands are here, stay there. This is called Padahast Asan. Now, breathe in. Come back up and fold your leg in a horse riding pose. It is called Ashwa Sanchalanasana. You can rest your heel on the chair if you feel comfortable or you can even lift it up. Ashwa Sanchalanasana. Now we'll do Parvatasana. So you're going to breathe out and slowly bend your head towards your knee. Parvatasana. Feel that bend on your back. And now relax, bring your foot down. And this is Ashtang, normal position. And now we'll get into Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. So breathe in, both your hands up and tilt your head back. So this is like a back bend that we are doing. So lifting your arms up, you're going to tilt your head back. And that's Bhujangasana. Now breathe out. And get back to Parvatasana that we did earlier, which is bending your head towards your knee while lifting your right leg, hold it here. And breathe in. And we will do the Ash, uh, Ashwa Chalanasana again, lifting your head, leg. You're going to keep your spine straight. Now you're not bending your head, keeping your head straight. You're just lifting your one leg. Ashwa Sanchalanasana. Breathe out and we're going to bend forward to do Padahast Asana. 
Next to your feet, put your hands down. Breathe in, Hasta Uttanasana. Lift both your hands up. And you can either look up towards the ceiling. You're not really bending your head back too much. You're looking at the ceiling or you can look straight ahead. If you have cervical issues, then just keep looking straight ahead. And the last posture, Namaskar, prayer pose. So we always do sun salutation in pairs. So either two, four, six, eight. So today we'll do two. So I will do the next one now. So this is step one, prayer pose, normal breathing. Step two, Hasta Uttan Asan. So lifting your hands up, feel that push of your chest. So your chest is lifted up. And breathe out, Padhast Asan. So bring your hands down next to your head, next to your feet. And you can drop your head down. This is Padhast Asan. Now breathe in and lift, or lift your left leg. We lifted the right leg last time. Now we lift the left leg. Ashwa Sanchalanasana. Hold it tightly. This is all, this is like Ardha Pavan Asana that we do. And you can feel the pressure in, the, in your belly, especially on the left side. Hold it tight. And then you're going to do uh, Parvatasana. So now drop your head down towards your knee. And relax. And now bring your leg down. And we will do the uh, uh, Ashva Sanchala, or we do the Padhast Asan. So for Padhast, you're going to again bring your hands down to your feet, next to your feet, hold it there. And then Hasta Uthan Asan, lift both your hands up. And you're just looking at the ceiling, feel the stretch of your spine, feel the push of your chest. Your chest is pushed upward. And normal breathing as we do namaskar prayer pose so that is the 12 postures of surya namaskar sun salutation helps in opening the chest another one that uh, helps in opening the chest is fold your arms like this make a yogic fist with your thumb inside keep your spine straight your elbows are at your shoulder level hold it here and now you're going to open your arm. It's like you are a weight lifter and you're lifting weights. And as you open your arms, you're pushing your shoulders back. You're pushing your elbows back and you can feel your chest opening. That is what heart center postures are about. That is what Hida Yoga is all about. It's about expanding your chest and rib cage, improving your posture focusing on the upper and the middle part of the spine. Now bring it forward and open it, pushing the chest out, hold it. It's like pretend you're holding these heavy weights in your hands. Bring your hands in the front and relax. Let your hands relax on your lap. So that's the chest opening posture. Another chest opening posture we're going to do is the embrace one, how we do the universe, you know, the universal embrace. So we are going to open our arms wide. Breathe in, raise both your hands, stretch them in front of you, and then slowly open them wide, pushing your chest outward. It's like you're ready to embrace the world. And now if your neck allows, you can drop your head back and look up towards the ceiling. Very relaxing and slowly bring your hands forward and then drop them down. Very good, catch your breath. All right, now we need to do spinal twist. So spinal twist also helps with our upper cage and our rib cage. So especially as we advance in age, there is a tendency to drop your head down or to bend down. And then initially it seems very comfortable, but after some time it can uh, trigger other uh, health issues. 
So keeping your spine upright and straight is very important, especially for free flow of prana shakti energy. So now you're going to put your uh, right hand on your left knee, put your left hand behind and hold the chair with your left hand, you're holding the base of the chair. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're going to turn your upper body to the left. So you're turning your chest to the left. Feel the stretch on your lower back and the lumbar area. And now slowly turn your face to the front. So it's a powerful spinal twist. And you know that the cervical spine is most flexible. That part of the spine is most flexible. The thoracic part of the spine is the least flexible. So now we are addressing them both. Now let go of your hands and relax. Catch your breath. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So now with your left hand, hold your right knee, put your right hand back, hold the base of the chair with your right hand, breathe in. And as you breathe out, slowly turn your chest to the right side. Feel that stretch on your lower back as you're doing this. And now slowly turn your face. So you're turning your neck and facing front. But your upper body is still turned. Stay here for a few seconds. And then slowly relax and you can now come back to normal position. So that is a powerful spinal twist. All right. Now we need to do some leg lifts. So you're going to stretch your right leg in front of you all the way. Keeping your spine straight and support it with both your hands. You're going to hold it. Interlace your hands and hold it. So stay here. You can even roll your foot around, working on that ankle rotation and do it in the opposite direction. Very good. And bring it down. Keep your spine straight, catch your breath. Let's do the same thing with the other leg. You're going to straighten your leg and hold it. So you're holding the thigh with both your hands. And now you can slowly roll your foot around. It's called the ankle rotation, working in one direction, then doing it in the opposite direction. Very good, very relaxing as you do that. Now bring it down, shake it, catch your breath. And now you're going to fold your right leg, put it over your left thigh, and slowly take the fingers of your hand, put them in between the toes and shake your foot very gently. Then roll it around, then in the opposite direction. Very good. And now with both your hands, tap your foot all over, then press your foot all over, giving it a nice massage. It's a Valentine's Day, so we are taking good care of our body. You know, we are talking about love today, love that is not only for ourselves, for our families, for our significant others, special folks in our lives, and but also love for our body. And you're, that's why you're here, taking care of your body, because you love your body. Okay, now make a yogi twist and use your knuckles to slide them all over your the sole of your foot. And then tap gently with your knuckles all over. And it feels great. You will have happy feet for your Valentine's Day. Now relax and let go. Bring your foot down. Do it with the other leg. Now cross your other leg over. Take the fingers of your right hand. Put them in between the toes of your right foot. And gently shake, shake, shake. Move it around. Do it in the opposite direction. And then remove your fingers. And with both your hands, tap, tap, tap. Gently all over. And press your toes and the balls of the foot, the arch of the foot, the heel. And then make a yogi twist. Use your knuckles again. Slide them all over the sole of your foot. And then tap, tap, tap gently with your knuckles all over. It feels wonderful. And relax. So we are doing these heart center postures to expand our chest and our rib cage. So now you're going to lift your right arm up. You're holding the chair with your left hand, lifting your right arm up. Feel that stretch. And now see if you can slowly lean to the left side, to the opposite side. Keep holding the chair for support. 
and you don't need to lean too far just a gentle bend and then slowly bring your hand down catch your breath breathe in lift your left arm up feel that stretch and now slowly you're going to bend to the right feel the bend and relax bring your hand down catch it catch your breath bend your elbows and now you're going to do it sideways and then so you move, you're folding both your arms and then you're going to push it back pushing the elbows back feel again that opening of your heart center posture expanding your chest and your rib cage keep pressing it it's it makes a little pinch behind your back and so you hold it here keep pushing your elbows back and let go how oh, it feels wonderful very good and now with your right hand you're going to slowly bend to the right side and you're dropping your hand down now your left hand you can either hold the chair as you bend down to the right side so you're bending you can feel it on your right side of your abdomen as you bend hold it here 5 4 3 2 1 come back and straighten your back catch your breath breathe in and now you're going to hold the chair with the right hand and then you're going to drop your left hand down when you're bending to the left side 5 4 3 2 1 and relax catch your breath very good we'll do some standing postures so you're going to slowly stand up very good that warm up you know the sun salutation that we did you already did the forward bend back bend spinal twist lateral bend and we did extension um, you know of the spine flexion extension rotation of our uh, feet we did some now we need to do some balancing posture so in every 30 minute routine that we do here we make sure that we are involving all the different range of motion range of movements so here you are going to take hold the back of the chair and you will stand straight breathe in and as you breathe out lift your heels up and you're standing on your tippy toes very good stay here now bring your right heel down bending your left knee then come back stand on on your toes then drop your left heel down bending your right knee come back straight stand on both your toes so let's just do it alternately you got the gist of it you got the knack what we are doing here so just do this alternately and one more round and relax catch your breath very good and while holding the chair you are going to not proper balancing posture and put your left foot forward lift it and now just swing it in and out front and back then you can do it sideways left and right so we are doing it sideways we are doing we did front and back then you can do it in circle it's like the letter c and last round relax catch your breath let's do the same thing with the other leg so again stand on your left foot and now lift your right leg and swing it front and back very good and then do it sideways left and right you're incorporating balance in the body so that it prevents falls and it will have strong grounding feeling for the body and now let's do some circles with the leg do it in the opposite direction very good last round and relax catch your breath all right and now 
You're going to put both your hands on the base of the chair. And we are going to lift our right leg. So again, look at your comfort level. So you're firmly standing on your left leg, holding the chair with both your hands. Actually, you can hold it or, or rest it. And then you're going to lift your leg up. Now, if you can't lift it at the level of the spine, that's okay. If you can lift it up to here, you can stay there. Whatever is comfortable. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, bring your leg down, catch your breath, breathe in. And now put all your body weight on your right foot and left foot. You're going to lift your left foot. You can lift it a few inches above the ground or you can lift it at the level of your spine and look straight ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Bring your leg down. Catch your breath. Keeping the right hand on the chair, you're going to slowly lift your left hand up towards the ceiling. It may be a little bit difficult, you may find, so just lift it a little bit. Again, listen to your body and hold it. If you need to bend your knee, you can do that. You can go all the way up by bending your knee and look up at the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, relax, catch your breath. Now let's do the same thing with the other arm. So you're going to lift your uh, right arm up, bending your knees, you're going to look up towards the ceiling. Remember we are doing the chest opening postures. So this is how you're opening your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. And bring your hand down, catch your breath, and relax. Come back to start position. Okay, now move your right leg on the right side of the chair. Your left leg is in the front. Keep your spine straight. Then bring it back, move your left leg. It's like at 90 degrees angle, perpendicular to your body. Keep your spine straight. If you need to hold the chair, you can do that. Bring it back. Now let's see if we can do both the legs. So you're moving your right leg here and left leg here. And now as you're opening, this is not only opening the chest, it's also called pelvic, you know, it's opening your hips hip joint. So as you're doing this, your feet are at an angle, right? You can see them slightly at an angle. They are parallel to your knee. And now slowly see if you can move your toes further away from the body. And it's almost like 90 degrees angle. So now your feet are at 90 degrees angle to your calves and you can feel that stretch in your hip joint. Bring your hands in the front and slowly see if you can open your hands. Now your legs are apart and your arms are apart. And this is like you are like a bodybuilder lifting those heavy weights. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax your hands, relax your legs, come back. And catch your breath. Let's do pranayama. So in this uh, heart center postures that we are doing, uh, pranayama is very much a part of that because you're actually focusing on your the core of your being when you're doing the, the breathing work. So keeping your spine upright and straight, you're going to lift your right hand Close the right nostril with your thumb. Breathe in from the left nostril. Close the left nostril with your, uh, right, with your middle finger and ring finger and let go of your thumb. And breathe out from the right nostril. 
Now, keeping the left nostril closed, breathe in from the right. Close the right nostril with the thumb and breathe out from the left nostril. This is one round. So do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing, anulom vilom pranaya at your own pace. And remember that we are not holding our breath at any point. You're simply inhaling through one nostril and exhaling through the other. And in the reverse order, This has tremendous benefits for the body. It helps to bring balance in left brain and right brain because our nasal passages are cross-connected with the brain. So it has an instant calming effect on the nervous system. And as you do this, your body begins to release body-friendly hormones. Endorphin, that's body's natural painkiller. And oxytocin, the love hormone. Today is our Valentine's Day. So here we are relaxing our body, being in love with ourselves and with the universe. And when you finish your round, you can bring your hand down and um, just stay with this sense of lightness. Notice the breath going in and out. And just like the breath comes and goes, there are sensations in the physical body that come and go. And just like the sensations come and go, feelings come and go. And just like the feelings come and go, thoughts come and go, thoughts, about events in the past or thoughts about planning, imagination about future, what might happen. These are all thoughts. Always remember your prior to your thoughts. And slowly you will notice as you begin to observe your thoughts, you will notice that it creates a little space between your thoughts and your cell. And soon with practice, you will notice that these thoughts, especially if they are disturbing thoughts, they will not have the power to disturb you. And you will notice that the space between the thoughts and yourself begins to expand. And then you feel that expanse that has no shape, no form, no color. It's stillness, it is presence. And that is immaculate, immeasurable, invisible, always present. That is our present moment, being in the now. So remain centered in your heart, not just today, but all the days of the year. Slowly we will open our eyes, but it doesn't matter, eyes open or eyes close. This presence is always there and you're always centered in your heart, just continue to be vigilant and not get caught up in your thoughts or begin to identify with your thoughts. And slowly, the disengagement happens from the thoughts and the being. Now bring your hands together, rub your hands, feel the warmth in both your palms as you rub them and then slowly put them over your face, gently massaging your forehead, your facial muscles, your cheeks all over your eyes. Then take the fingers on your scalp and do a gentle scalp massage. So 
So again, wishing each one of you a very happy Valentine's Day. So uh, we will see you next Sunday. Eat wisely, move smart, breathe deep, sleep well, relax, meditate, stay healthy, and stay safe. Thank you.